we are now going to shift our focus on redox reactions. And what is redox reactions? Well, it is a short for oxidation and reduction. And what exactly is it when I say oxidation and reduction to you? Well, you could probably think about the oxidation being something that like gains like oxygen and reduction means like you kind of lose something. But in actual fact, oxidation and reduction is simply, it's not really a type of chemical reaction, it is simply a made up system by chemists to try explain what is happening to the reactants at the atomic or molecular level. All right, specifically the electrons. Let me go close to Okay. One of the few th one of the few things that you have to really grasp when you talk about redox reactions is that the oxidation and reduction uh, process occurs simultaneously, occurs together. Now, this is a made up system and uh, Again, like I said, it's a made-up system by chemists to help explain what's happening to reactants at the molecular level. So, uh, basically, lots of things are kind of like redox reactions, and there are a lot of examples. For example, when you breathe in and out, respiration, that is a redox reaction. When you burn something, like you turn off the cooker, fire, and the gas stove, that burning, that's a redox reaction. Rusting. You know, like when you have exposed iron or steel and it gets uh, exposed to water or salt, that and that rusting process, that's also a redox reaction. Uh, burning the magnesium ribbon, that's a redox reaction. So there are like lots and lots and tons and tons of examples. Cooking, that's a redox reaction. So. How are we going to use this to explain, how are we going to learn about redox reactions and then use it to apply to us and that we will now understand what is happening to the reactants? Well, let's first ex try to explain redox in terms of the loss and gain of oxygen atoms, all right? And we'll go into other topics a little bit more in further detail. So, there we go. I'm going to erase this now. Okay. Remember, the colors I've used, re for the reduction part, and ox for the oxidation part. Okay, and I'm going to throw in a few chemical examples to try to explain redox. All right, let me pick up the Okay, cool. So let us take up an example of a redox reaction. Oh, remember I said about magnesium burning magnesium ribbon? Well, that's a redox reaction. It is magnesium. Let me draw a little lower so I can have more space. Magnesium plus oxygen, gas, right? And you get magnesium oxide, two of them. All right, so this part here, that's a redox reaction because what is exactly is happening to magnesium at the atomic level? Well, as magnesium gets burned, right? It is, well, sorry, one color. It's magnesium gets burned, it is gaining an oxygen, right? It's gaining an oxygen. Where did the oxygen come from? Here, right? So it gained that oxygen, and so we say that the magnesium has oxidized, all right? So simultaneously, what is happening is that this oxygen gas, it's breaking up into two bits because one of them will get into 
magnesium, and the other will get into the other magnesium. So what we'll say that is, one of this oxygen here is in fact losing the other oxygen, right? So it lose an oxygen, right? This oxygen gas lost one oxygen atom, and so what we say is that this is being reduced. So this oxygen gas here is reduced, all right? So magnesium gain the oxygen to become magnesium oxide. So that magnesium here, this magnesium is oxidized, and this oxygen gas lost one of itself to, and we say that that is reduced, all right? That is one example. Let's pull, pull out another example. Hmm. Maybe a simpler one. Uh, when people uh, mine for iron ores and they want to smelt it so they get uh, pure iron out, uh, that's an oxidation reduction process. All right, this is an iron ore. And so what we get is iron and oxygen. Uh, should we balance it? Okay, let's balance this. Okay. Wait, wait. This is two. And this should be four. All right. So this is also an oxidation reduction reaction. All right? Well, not quite, it's because it's like the opposite. Uh, what's happening is, this iron ore lose the oxygen here, and so this iron ore is reduced, right? Because it lose the oxygen, okay? But this iron part here, okay? Each iron, uh, iron, iron, I guess you can call that, each iron, ion, lost an oxygen, so that is reduced. But simultaneously, the oxide gained an oxygen, and so it is oxidized. Now, you may ask me, I don't really understand this process, Mr. Ko. Well, you have to talk, think about this in terms of its ionic, uh, ionic diagram structure. And so what we actually have is, I'm drawing the Lewis diagram. So this is like the Lewis diagram of uh, the iron ore. As you can see, uh, one of the oxygen ion, the oxide, is ionically bonded to an iron, which is also in turn ionically bonded to another oxide. All right, so therefore, when this compound breaks up, you can see that this iron lost the oxygen, while the other ion here gained that oxygen, and so that is oxidized. So that is exactly what is happening in terms of what is when you smell iron, in terms of this is being reduced and that is being oxidized. All right, let's try another example. Remember to pause the videos whenever you can, so you can take notes. Burning, burning, that's the um, ox redox process, right? So again, remember, redox is just a process in that we use to try to explain what is happening to the reactants, all right? Redox. Well, that's burning. Yeah, let's, 
not a complicated burning. Let's take burning of hydrogen or electrolysis, uh, the, the electrolysis, well, not electrolysis of uh, burning hydrogen or the electrolysis of hydrogen to make uh, water. Here we go. Okay. So what's happening here is that hydrogen, right, gain the oxygen. And so it is said to have oxidized. So hydrogen here has oxidized. On the other hand, very again, the same as the magnesium uh, oxide example, this oxygen broke up. This oxygen broke up and it lost one of this oxygen, lost the other oxygen, so it lost the oxygen, and so this is said to have reduced. So this oxygen gas has reduced. So this is kind of like the magnesium oxide example, right? Okay. What about burning? Okay, burning. Also an example, guys. It's just never ending. Ah, CO2. Okay, I'm not going to bother going to try to balance the equation because it's taking too much time. So, what is happening here? Well, carbon and hydrogen both gain the oxygen from here, right? Gain the oxygen from here. And so, it is said to have oxidized. Well, we know this by now, this oxygen lost itself, right? And so we said that it has been reduced. So there you go. Another example. You may ask me, Mr. Ko, what's the whole point of all this? Well, I mean, right now it seems very simple because we're using oxygen to explain what is happening to the atoms at the atomic level or the molecular level. But when we get to problems that doesn't involve oxygen, for example, uh, putting a zinc in an acid bath, right? So we have zinc and we put it in an acid bath, like hydrochloric acid, and we get zinc chloride as hydrogen gas. So you may ask me, oh, Mr. Cole, well, now we don't have any oxygen in this equation, but this is also a type of redox reaction, right? How am we gonna explain what is being reduced and what is being oxidized? Well, we'll learn that next class.